Hello and welcome back to SciTai Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to modify the Sony A58 by removing the infrared filter that is on the sensor. By doing that, you will have a full spectrum camera to be able to film and photograph just like this. So, let's get started. <laughs> Now it's time to take the camera apart to access the sensor to remove the infrared filter. First start off with removing the lens, then go and remove the battery, and then go and remove the SD card. And now the camera is ready to be taken apart. Let's go ahead and locate all the screws, remove the screws, and place all the screws onto this magnet so you don't lose any of the screws. Now it's time to go and remove it and do what I like to say is see a screw, remove a screw, see a screw, remove a screw. And just simply do that the entire time until you access the sensor. And now the front housing is removed, and the ribbon cables are now exposed. At this point, be extremely cautious because ribbon cables are very delicate. They can easily tear, they can tear out of their sockets, and they can easily be damaged. So take caution. Especially at this point over here. I have now the back being removed, and sometimes it sticks a little. So don't pull too hard, otherwise you can easily rip the ribbon cable. Now what you need to do is look for where the ribbon cables are connected and pull them out gently. Now as you can see, I'm using these tweezers to remove the ribbon cables. I find doing it this way is the best way because you can reach in the awkward angles and you can delicately remove the ribbon cables without damaging them.
Now I have access to the sensor. Next, I'm gonna go and remove this frame that is holding this infrared filter glass. Using the spatula and pry up all of the corners to lift this frame out. In the process, it will break the infrared filter glass and that's the whole point. You want it to be broken and removed. So now the frame is out, use the spatula, reach underneath the glass and lift it out. Use the spatula and scrape off the edges. And then use the tweezer to be able to pick up each of the broken pieces of glass. And there, now it's time to clean the sensor. And there you have it, your sensor is nice and cleaned. The items I use to clean it is this brush, this fiber cloth, and this air duster. And it looks nice and clean. And here are the broken infrared filter shards that are sitting right there. And now it's time to put this all back together. Boom, now you have a full spectrum camera. Let's go test it out. And there you have it, a simple modification to the Sony A58 by simply removing the infrared filter that's on the sensor of the camera and being able to film and photograph in the infrared spectrum. Of course, you can change it into the mode where right now it's an automatic mode where the background is sort of reddish color, or you can even change it to this mode, which is called the incandescent mode that is found in the white balance settings of the camera. This allows you to film things in sort of a bluish tint and it makes things a little bit interesting looking. This mode is interesting, but I prefer this mode, which is called the daylight mode, which is found in the white balance settings as well. This mode I kind of prefer a little bit better because it makes things a little bit more reddish and more an infrared feel and you can do a little bit more with it by being able to photograph things such as trees and uh, green sceneries and you can make them more white and more you know, more vibrant looking. But, of course, wh whoever does this to their camera, but, of course, whoever decides to modify their cameras to film or photograph in infrared is up to them. It's really personal preference. I personally prefer this mode, which is all in red. But, of course, uh, it's up to the artist. They might want to use the incandescent mode or daylight mode. It's up to you. It's up to you of how you want to photograph or how you want to film to be able to create interesting sceneries. And there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTai Tech. I hope you learned something new and don't forget to like and subscribe and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTai Tech videos. Thank you for watching. Till the next tech. Goodbye.